I know I need to film, but these crisps are too good. Mm -mm -mm. Hello my lovelies, so today for you all I have got a collective haul, but I'll just get cracking with it. Okay, so I've got a few beauty bits. I've bung them all in this um, body shop bag, but I'll just get cracking with it. Um, I got myself really badly sunburned on my back um, this over the past couple of weeks which was silly. So I picked up the Hawaiian Tropic After Sun Body Butter and it has got avocado, coconut oil and shea butter in it. And it smells, oh, really, really nice. Looks like that. It's nice and thick and creamy and lovely. So I've been using that and it's really, really nice. And that was an offer in Boots for about five pounds. I also picked up the Virgin Mojito, I think it's called, um, shower gel, it's soap free cleanser with lime and mint extracts from the Caribbean, it just smells like a cocktail and it smells amazing and I absolutely love it, so yes I picked up that one, smells good and I cannot wait to use it. TK Maxx I picked up one thing which is this, it is basically a beauty blender on a stick but the only problem is it's like started to rip already. Now I have had this about two weeks I would say. Um, so it's an easy beauty blender but it is starting to kind of wear away on the stick already which is a shame. But I have really been enjoying using it and it does blend my foundation in really easily. I washed it last night. It's still drying um, and it was 3 99 Now I don't really recommend this because it isn't great as I said it's ripped already um but yeah I enjoy using it but not the best like concept I suppose okay and the last little bits are lip bits um so it's one of them is what I've got on my lips today and it is the Maybelline um lip pencil in velvet beige which is this a lovely kind of pinky nudie colour and I just outline my lips with that and then over the top I have got the L'Oreal Paris um, 630, that's the colour. So it looks like that, so it's this really nice pinky nude. I've really been enjoying using these two together, they look amazing. And I have literally worn them every day. And then I have another two lip things, and one of them is the Maybelline Colour Drama Intense Velvet Lip Pencil in Nude Perfection. So this is a slightly darker nude in comparison to the lipstick don't know if you'll be able to tell on camera um but yeah no the, the lipstick is darker and this is paler but i do really like them both they are really really nice i've used them both a couple of times but i think at the moment i prefer the lipstick but i'm going to give this more of a go the last um lip thing is a revolution so makeup revolution lip lacquer um and it is in the color I don't know if it'll say on it, let's have a look. It might say on it. It's a really bright purple. Doesn't actually say, but it's in this really, really bright purple and it is really velvety, um, really nice, and I'm really, really excited to wear this. I think I might wear it tomorrow when I am at work. Um, why not, hey? Why not? Um, so yes, I've got that one as well, and I love the packaging as well. Like, how cool is that? Okay, so that was all my beauty bits. So the one of the first things I'm going to show you, I have one, so they do need to go in the wash. And it's a pair of shorts. Um, now, you guys all know that I have bought multiple pairs of shorts this summer so far. And have any of them fitted me? Have they been right at all? No, they've all ended up going back. But this pair is a pair I kept because they actually fit me. Um, and it is the ASOS Denim... Um, shorts size 6 so the waist fits me perfectly and it covers my bottom and it's big enough for my legs which is great so that makes me really really happy but I really enjoyed wearing these I've worn them to the beach so they're a little bit salty and sandy so they are going to go in the wash now um, but I think I paid about £28 for them as well so to be honest they weren't that expensive considering the amount I'm probably going to wear them but yes I love these let's talk about new look now, as you guys know, it is a shop that I am more or less constantly in. I picked this up a couple of weeks ago. You might have seen it on my Instagram. I really should have buttoned it up, shouldn't I? But I'm just so lazy. Um, and it is this um, thin striped blouse that is white and black. Looks really nice. It has got this quite unusual neckline. It's a V-neck, but it doesn't have a collar. Um, and it is long sleeve, but I tend to roll the sleeves up to the shorter. But I absolutely love this. It's such a pretty top, and I just really enjoy wearing it. 
And then I also picked this one up the other day, which I have worn as well, um, and it is in a size 8, and it crosses over at the back like that, and it's obviously got the double strap at the front, and it's floaty, and it's this pinky nude colour, it's really, really pretty, really girly and delicate. Um, I picked that one up, and it was, how much was it? I think it was about £15. And then I felt sorry for myself the other day, so I went and bought myself some more clothes. And I picked myself up these bad boys in the sale. Um, they look like this. They're these holographic kind of cool, like, flat form shoes. I don't know. They're pretty cool. And they were £7, which is an absolute bargain. They are from the kids section new look, but they're just really, really cool. So I picked those up, and I'm excited to wear those because I love trainers. Then I picked this up because I've been after quite a smart shirt for a while and I really liked this and I got it in a size 8 and it was £17.99 um, and it's just a plain blue shirt with a collar, it's oversized, it's got long sleeves but once again you can roll them up and I just really liked it, I just thought it was really really smart and something a little bit different um, so I can't wait to wear that one. Then I picked up this because I just loved the fabric um, and it I got this one in a size 6 and it was 9 99 and it is a suede like vest um, and it's in black, it looks like this, I really like it, it feels really really nice, can't wait to wear this because it's something that's a little bit different and I feel that the fabric is going to keep me quite warm actually, I don't know but I just really liked it, it's so different to all my other tank tops and I know I have loads now but Yes, so I picked that one up. And the last thing I picked up was a pair of cute little shorties. So they look like this. They're kind of like paper bag styled, I'd call them. So they have these little zipper pockets that are real, which makes me really excited. They're not pretend. Um, so that's really cool. Um, and then it's got an elasticated waist, but you can tighten it up with this little belt loop at the front. I got them in an 8 because I didn't have a 6. Um, and they were 12 99 but I just thought they were really cute, simple, plain, I don't know, I just, I really like them. So, yeah! Okay, my lovelies, so that was all of the bits and bobs I have bought recently. If you enjoyed watching this video, then give it a thumbs up, because it lets me know that you did. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe so you can stay updated with my videos, and I'll see you soon! Thanks for watching! Bye! Hello everyone, so today I'm here to talk to you about a epi wand. Looks like this.